So he has some boxing amateur experience as well, a three MMA bouts on top of that, and Callum Peace would describe himself as a boxing style, so no doubt this will be a grappling match, and we're on their way. Peace is in the red trunks, and McCormick is in the black. Garth McCormick, of course, has been uh, training out of New Era, but has also been getting rounds in with the guys at FAI and the guys at IFS, so really diversifying his striking there, getting different looks from different fighters. And straight away, you can see the footwork I was talking about with Peace. He's trying to work his way in, getting the head off center line. Good distance management. Good footwork though by McCormick. McCormick utilizing that inside leg kick, but big right hand just off the target there by Peace. Needs to be wary of that overhook. Needs to be cautious of dropping the hands when he throws that kick because it looks as if Callum Peace just is trying to get the timing for it and come over the top. I nice like the movement Peace is doing. He's, Very good. He's stepping left foot to right foot across it. Give patterns and looks and feints to see what McCormick does with that. But McCormick, I like it. I like the way he's utilizing that lead leg kick. Take away some of the balance of Peace. Both men landing the shots, looking very loose here. Callum Peace constantly after landing his strikes, getting off that center line. McCormick looking to engage, tie up that plum in the shots. And beautiful inside leg kick, but a one-two and big. The two with the right hand was beautiful. Just brushed the chin of McCormick. That's a beautiful inside leg kick. And as soon as it presents himself, you can see Gareth McCormick just landing it in. Peace is going to have to start thinking about checking these, Phil. Well, you can see Callum Peace constantly changing. Uh, his stance from orthodox to southpaw. That could be part of his game plan, or that could be because those inside leg kicks are taking their toll on him. You can see the difference there. Callum Peace through an inside leg kick as more of a range finder, but yeah. when Garth throws them, there's bad intentions behind them. So far, McCormick, he's not biting on the feints that Peace is offering. And again, as soon as he changes stance, he says, OK, well, I'll kick that lead leg then. Beautiful work by McCormick. And he's doing that with his power leg, so he's really able to turn it over and get his shin into the meat of the inside thigh. Peace has maybe got to utilize some kicks himself, because right now the boxing is just being stopped by the inside leg kicks of Gareth McCormick. McCormick has no problem backing up and just defending and then utilizing his attack after that. Looks for that uppercut. Nice right hand, but... Nice head movement again. It's almost like ice skating the way you see Callum Peace just waltzing in. Two references to ice skating field tonight. I'm getting worried about you. I like, this. I like the Winter Olympics. That was an intriguing first round of styles and with speaking to Callum Peace, he felt that McCormick is a single shot fighter and yeah. will look to shoot and get a takedown. Didn't show any of that in the first round, really. Every time Peace changed stance, as soon as he done it, through the inside leg kick to attack. And that is money in the bank for the later rounds. Quality footwork that we've seen from Callum Peace. Try and take that away from him. What I like about what McCormick's done, I already I already said it to yeah. bring it back though, is it's it's almost like every time he sees him change stance, it's like, okay, kick. It's just in there, okay, kick. Every time, orthodox, kick. Southpaw, kick. Every time, opens up with that leg kick. Goes on the outside that time. Nice check, left hook there as well by McCormick. McCormick, of course, the older brother of Sugar Sean McCormick, who we've seen win with devastating effect in the Clan Wars cage. You can start to see the effect of the kicks now as well. Peace is starting to lift his leg a little as he's thrown them. So that's a tell for McCormick that the work is working. Look to check that time. Needs to do more of that. Peace lands a nice right hand and just Seems that a shot went wayward there. An illegal shot, five minutes. Dickie Larkin will just speak to. McCormick needs to be careful when he's moving to his right. He's dipping his head ever so slightly when he's coming off the center line. If Callum Peace gets wise to that, he could throw a head kick or, or, or some sort of offensive strike. But McCormick really needs to be careful of just not dipping that head when he's moving off the center line. Back on their way and McCormick looks for it. Lead left hook, but nobody there and goes back to the leg kicks as well. Now it's Peace looking to mix up his leg kicks that could set up the hands fill potentially. Just a nice tie style sweep from Callum Peace on the lead leg of Garth McCormick. McCormick's starting to work behind that jab now as well and 
it must be frustrating for Peace as he's coming in, he's getting his legs tore up and now he's starting to get hit with that jab. But pushing forward is Callum Peace. Nice uppercut attempt from Garth McCormick, working well behind that jab as you said. I would like to see him use the jab as a starting point to finish a combination. You know, throw the jab, then maybe a one-two. He's finding like sense again with uh, finding success again with that lead sweep. Good feints and head movement done by Peace as McCormick threw back there, and now it's Peace who's digging the leg into that tie. And that's now, as I said, it's opened up the hands. Yep. The most significant strikes of the fight so far for Colin Peace, but McCormick fires back. I'd like to see him get back to work with those leg kicks that worked so well for him in the first round. See, there's that depth that has me ever so slightly concerned. Again, what McCormick, you're talking to a man who runs into blazing buildings. <laughs> so he's enjoying himself. This is his hobby here. Nice job again, but then gets caught flush. Big right hand just knocked the gum shield momentarily out, but he popped back with an uppercut of his own on peace. Does the right thing to try and pour water on the fire that is Callum Peace driving forward. And Callum Peace, if he really wants to turn this fight around, he may have to turn it into a war. Garth McCormick just forcing Callum Peace to wear the fight right now, but Callum Peace out on that Kimura grip, not necessarily to, to go for the submission, but to use it offensively to create a little bit of space or sweep. And Peace was looking at that Kimura, as you said, Phil, he's abandoned it there, though. McCormick leaning his weight into Callum Peace. Peace trying to rip up with that underhook. If he would have scored the takes on night, nope, just shy run out of time. You have to say though, technically from the game plan point of view, this is looking excellent for Garrett McCormick. He's really utilizing them leg kicks and then start working behind the jab in round two, Phil. We had Callum Peace during the week and he told me in one year's time he will be the Clan Wars welterweight champion and middleweight champion. But he's got his work cut out tonight. And Gareth McCormick, third round underway. Nice Ducks under that movement. shot, beautiful head movement, but gets peppered with the jab again. A nice long right hand by McCormick, just coming over the guard of Peace. He's staying at the end of his punches very well. He's utilizing that reach and really twisting the hip end, trying to cover as much ground as he can with those straights. Just needs to be careful when he ducks the head. Peace just there, that uppercut yeah. is there. Has McCormick recognized that? Both men just ever edging in towards striking range. Nice uppercut there from Garth McCormick. Again, just ducking the head. The high kick is a potential error as well for McCormick. Yep. But it is Callum Peace who's trying to pour it on and walk his man down. Good head movement again. McCormick happy to stand and trade. This could take place in a phone box, this one. Hands up, Garth McCormick. He's trying to piece together combinations. It's good head movement when he comes in, but it's almost like he stops after the combination and that allows McCormick to pepper him back with that one shot. Beautiful slip there. You just like to see the leg kick mixed in there, Phil, or a step in knee, perhaps. Yeah, just, you know, we have these combinations for a reason. They've turned this very much into a, into a boxing style match. Let's get the combinations working, score those points. And McCormick has gone away from the kicks where he was having the success as well, Phil, which is surprising. There's that uppercut. But he was having such good success in round one and two with the kicks, goes back to it there. It would almost make me think that he caught the knee with his foot or something. That's why he's not throwing it with, with as much frequency when it was so successful. In the second round, we did say the piece was starting to lift his leg a little bit, so he could be right. Maybe he caught the knee with one of them kicks. Nice one-two from McCormick. And Peace tries to bury the shin bone into the thigh. You see the hands of both men dropping ever so slightly, which could lend itself to a very exciting finish. Good knee by McCormick, and now it's McCormick who's taking center of the cage. Big deep breath from both men, turning that shin into the leg. In itself, the two of them just have stood for almost nine minutes right in front of each other, relying on their reflexes and slips and feints and head movement. 
which is impressive in itself. McCormick has the hands connected. This could be big in this round. That's huge, no, absolutely huge. Steps over in the mount, may look to triangle the legs, does so. 10 second, Clapper goes and Gareth McCormick has heard that and he's going to throw down just the last few hellacious shots of the fight. Just explodes into life. <laughs> We're going to go to the judges' scorecards. Gareth McCormick feels he's done enough. Hands aloft. Colin Peace does it as well, but the confidence seems to be brewing more so from the New Era team. I think it was the game plan, Phil. Round one and two, the inside and outside leg kicks. Yeah. Every time Peace switched stance, he threw the kicks, taking away that footwork that we spoke about early in the opening of this fight. Ladies and gentlemen, for both fighters. Judge number one, the score is about 29-28, peace. Judge number two, the score is about 29-28, the corner. And judge number three, the score is about 29-28. For your winner, by split.